I just want you to know, every time I try recording this word, just stay tuned, okay? Because it's important, clearly. The enemy does not want me to get this out. Okay, this is my second time recording this. I don't know if this one is going to go through, but here we are. If you find yourself getting married in your dreams, you need to immediately, and I mean immediately, divorce yourself from that spirit. You need to immediately repent for any open doors or any, uh, you know, any anything that you did to cause an open door to cause that spirit to have access to you. And let me tell you, there are so many women who are craving marriage so much so that the enemy knows this and he's using your desires against you. The enemy can't tempt you with something that you don't already want. Yes, God has probably promised you marriage, but in his timing. Because when God sends you somebody, you need somebody who's going to be able to pray you out of a, a bad time, not put you in them. You're going to need you somebody who knows how to pray you out of warfare, not cause it. You're going to need you somebody who, when you say, babe, when you start talking about the side of your neck, he say, that's the spirit and we're going to fast together. You need a man who stands firm and is not easily moved. And that's what God is trying to send to you. But because you're in such a rush and you're craving a husband so bad, you've had a dream that you got married and walked down the aisle and you walked down the aisle. Now you are married to a spirit. That wasn't that person. Marriage doesn't happen twice. That doesn't make sense. Why would you marry your spouse once in your dream and then marry them in a physical? Oh, God told me that this person, my husband, I saw him, I saw him getting married to them you're deceived i had a dream that i was in my house i came out into my living room and there was a wedding in my living room i said who's this wedding for and i saw a man that i'm i'm trying to figure out what i'm allowed to say i saw a man sitting in my living room that looked very familiar to me he was just sitting there chilling hmm. so i went down to the front of the aisle and they're like here put this dress on it was an ugly it was ugly i didn't like the dress and I almost put the dress on because I felt bad. Because I'm like, they planned this wedding and all this stuff, and I don't like the dress. I told them I didn't like the dress. I said, I don't like this dress. They got mad. They got very upset. Mind you, the man that I was supposed to be marrying was sitting down on his phone. There was another woman there who was going to marry him with me. The revelation behind this there's a spirit that wants to attach itself to you and it wants to wait to attack once you are married. The same spirit that caused your mother, grandmother, great grandmother, and all the women in your family to be abused, cheated on, lied to, left, or their husbands passed away miraculously. That same spirit wants to connect itself to you. The devil don't care if you get married as long as he is the, it's a trash one. He don't care if you get married as long as it's the wrong one because you can marry wrong. Mm -hmm. You can marry the wrong person, the wrong the person with the wrong spirit behind them. You can marry somebody that was sent, but that don't mean God sent them here. Don't let your flesh and your impatience cause you to marry something in the spiritual realm that you will have a hard time breaking. The contract you will have a hard time breaking because it has legal rights and access to you. And marriage is big and God don't break a covenant. I need you to hear me. He won't break it. You would have to go through a long process of fasting and prayer to break it. This will cause havoc in your marriage because a, the spirit spouse will become jealous of not only you, but your spouse and y'all's connection together. You ever notice when you're dating somebody, things are going good for a, a, a little bit. Mm -hmm. For me, I used to not be able to date longer than three months without it going to trash. Okay, I've had long-term relationships, but that three-month mark, it's always the three-month mark. And it's like they flip. Like they literally, and I told, I would, it got to a point where I would tell you know, any man that I wanted to date next, hey, I'm scared to date you because every time I date, it's like a, a switch flips. And the man change. And they know I ain't gonna do that. Then they did it. And it's like, they would look at me as somebody that I wasn't. Because I had an evil veil over my face. The evil veil that this spirit spouse put over me, I was already somebody's wife. I already belonged to a demon. Not because I did anything. No, not because I chose that. Some people choose that. But because a spirit had legal rights to me. Sex in a dream causes a soul tie, a covenant. 
but not as strong of a covenant as getting married in that dream. When I told them I did not like the dress, they got angry. They had to. I literally saw this woman get her lingerie. She put her regular clothes back on. She was prepared for the honeymoon and everything in the dream. And I, I asked her, I said, why are you marrying him with me? That doesn't even make any sense. Isn't this my husband? Hmm. If the enemy can get attached to your promise now, he can work on destroying it now. He can change your mind and warp your mind and perspective to already be something that your husband. See, God is, thank you, Holy Spirit. God is transforming you. He's transforming and forming and molding your mind. He's changing your mindset. So if the enemy can get a hold of your mind and your spirit ahead of time, he can undo everything that God is doing. Hear me. He can undo everything that God is doing. One more time, Naya. He can undo everything that God is doing. keep stopping it like that because I don't have time for my video to delete this time because this is really profound. He can undo everything that God is doing. So if you dream this, immediately wake up, you divorce yourself, you renounce, and you denounce. I ain't married to nobody but the man that God has for me. Period. And it is so and so it is. And anything that wants to marry itself to me, I cut off all legal access and rights to me. You're going to pray, Lord, break it and bust every ring that I have on my finger spiritually. The only ring I wear on this finger is the band that my husband gives me. When my husband proposes and when he puts my ring on my finger at the altar, I only have one wedding. And that's what the man that you sent to me. If it ain't from you, I don't want it. Okay. <laughs> Take it for a joke. But if you're serious about it, and you are because you be getting on God's nerves about it. Don't walk down that aisle in that dream. Before you go to bed, you pray and say, Lord, give me wisdom. Give me courage and integrity before I close my eyes and lay my head tonight. Strengthen me. Strengthen my spirit in the dream realm. You're going to have to fast and pray as well. Whether you want to strengthen your spirit or whether you want to divorce yourself, you're going to have to fast. Ask God how long. But this kind only comes out through fasting and prayer. Yeah. You're going to have to go to court spiritual court because God is the law. God is the the, the, the the judge, the judge, the I am, the I am that I am. Okay, you're gonna have to take yourself to court. You're gonna have to fight for yourself. The devil can't have you. Revoke all access. Fix your attitude. Fix your mouth and what you say and what comes out of it. Fix your mindset. Stop thinking negative. Stop overthinking. Ask God to heal you from depression. Stop being anxious. Be anxious for nothing. He didn't give you, he, he God didn't give you a spirit of fear. He gave you a, 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 why am I stuttering? God didn't give you a spirit of fear. He gave you power, love, and a sound mind. Second Timothy 1 7. <laughs> I just feel really good. The Holy Spirit is really heavily on me. That's all I wanted to say. Um, I hope that this word touches you. If you would like for me to post a prayer. Ooh, Jesus, I feel it. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm post it anyway. Of how to divorce yourself from a spirit spouse. I got you. Not today, Satan. Not today. In Jesus' name. Ah, yeah. It is so and so it is. And it will be so. And this is what thus says the Lord. I hope y'all hope you understand. Please send it to the person that needs it. I love y'all and God loves y'all so, 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 so much more. Educate so that we don't generate more lost generations. Okay, don't need no more. I think that's it. Oh, my introduction. I'm Nia J. My mouthpiece for God. Make gospel music. Bye. Love you. <laughs>